It's right before my work day. Um, I just went out for my exercise, came back in. It was actually pitch black out there when I was out there doing my exercise, which is why I have this very bright orange sweatshirt on. But it was fine. I was a little bit uncomfortable at first. I'm mostly scared of coyotes outside because I know they're in our neighborhood. So I'm like, not wanting to come across a coyote in the morning first thing when i wake up that's not the goal today is halloween i have to work because it's a work day but after work we are actually going trick-or-treating with ben's nephews which we do every year he has three nephews one of them well i consider them my nephews as well but <laughs> one of them is like one and a half the other is three and the other is six so they're of the age where trick-or-treating is really fun well maybe not for the one and a half year old because he can't even walk yet walk yet but <laughs> for the other two they're really going to be into it so that'll be fun and they're coming to our neighborhood to trick-or-treat this year for the first time because now we have a house and their neighborhood doesn't really get that many trick-or-treaters so i heard that we get a lot of people here i don't know because this is our first halloween in this house but we shall see how that goes but yes they're gonna be coming after work to go trick-or-treating so that will be fun and yeah that's what we have in store today yesterday ben and i carved our pumpkins we put them outside so those are good to go and we're ready for the halloween festivities but first gotta do my work day so let's do that and then i'll see you at the end of the day it is halloween night now got my festive cat shirt on i finally put up my halloween decorations and mariah uh -huh. yeah. is dressed as barbie reveal yourself oh my god i just ran through the wall <laughs> you took me out <laughs> i'm just so hot yep she's That's going as barbie nemesis. oh nemesis. eloise hates her It looks super cool. It's a graveyard. Oh, it's Haunted Mansion. Enter if you dare. You can go ahead of me. <laughs> oh, it's a witch. Well, Ryan you need to get, you car. need to subscribe. <laughs> I'll be up to 52 subscribers. I if will you subscribe. subscribe. Okay. Thank you. Trick or treating is over, and traditionally, after we trick or treat, we go out to eat at Applebee's. Normally, it's Applebee's, but this other restaurant near us is open, and it's better than Applebee's, so we're going in there. What could be better than Applebee's? Uh, what is the? Is it? It's Aaron Kathleen. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Are you subscribed? Subscribe. 52 subscribers! <laughs> wow, I'm really racking them up. Right. Well, we tried that restaurant and they were closing. So, Applebee's it is. 
all roads lead to Applebee's on Halloween. Eating good in the neighborhood. Well, that's debatable. I'm loving it. <laughs> when you're here, you're family. In the club, we all fam. All right, we're back from Applebee's now. We have been for a while, to be honest. But we're watching episodes of Are You Afraid of the Dark? And what we're discovering is that every single episode has a bully in it. Like literally every single one. Is there a bully in this one? I mean, even friends are bullying each other. <laughs> they're bullying themselves when they're alone. They're literally talking out loud, calling themselves. Everyone is just so mean to each other and to themselves. There we go. <laughs> it literally doesn't go like two <laughs> That's where we're at. Happy Halloween. Good morning. It's Friday now, the day after Halloween. It's about 9.45 in the morning. As I said earlier, I don't work today. I have today off. And I told myself I was going to sleep in, but I ended up waking up at like 8 o'clock, which I guess is sleeping in for a weekday for me because normally I would wake up at like 6.30 during the week. So I slept in a little bit, but yeah, I just kind of laid around in my bed. I uploaded the videos and the pictures I took yesterday um, onto my like external hard drive and have just been relaxing but I'm pretty hungry now so <laughs> I'm going to make myself a little bit of breakfast other than that I'm not really sure what I'm going to do today I do have an appointment at two o'clock to get my eyelashes tinted and my eyebrows tinted which I've never done before I'm a little bit scared about it the eyelashes I think will be fine. I'm just a little bit scared that it's gonna like irritate my eyelid because you know I have that weird eyelid thing, but it's also I'm kind of scared I'm gonna go blind or something. I'm mostly scared about the eyebrow tinting thing because I don't normally like color in my eyebrows or anything when I do my makeup because I'm just not like used to doing it. I'm just, these are just like the eyebrows I've always had. And so yeah, I've never like colored them in. And I feel like anytime I do color them in, they just look too dark or like unnatural or something. And I feel like because they're so light, if I do color them in, it just obviously looks like they've been colored in and they're not like a natural <laughs> eyebrow. So I'm gonna get them tinted because now that I don't really wear makeup every single day because I work from home, I feel like when I don't have my makeup on, I just kind of look like a ghost. Like I'm totally like washed out. My eyelashes disappear. My eyebrows are always gone, but it just looks more like noticeable when I don't have my makeup on. And so I just wanted to give it a shot, see what it was like. I think I'll like the eyelash tinting unless it does some crazy like reaction to my eyelid, which it could possibly happen. My skin is pretty sensitive. So we'll see what happens there. I'm gonna ask if she can like just do something very light for my brows to start off because I don't want to go in with like this heavy sharp eyebrow. <laughs> like I just want to ease into it. Um, and get something that's a little bit more like the color of my hair instead of just totally clear Which they are right now <laughs> So that's really the only thing I have planned for today. That's at two o'clock But from now until then and what I'll do after then I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll just relax here Read my book because I also don't have to like clean things because I cleaned up yesterday before everybody came um, for trick-or-treating and so it's pretty clean in here. I also don't have to like shop anywhere. I don't have any like things I need to buy. Like I have toilet paper, I have my paper towels. I have everything I need really. And it's the perfect condition for me to just sit and relax. But let's see what I end up doing. But right now, like I said, I'm super hungry. So I'm going to make myself a little breakfast sandwich, a cup of coffee, and then I'll probably sit on the couch and relax. All right, here's my breakfast sandwich. I actually am trying turkey bacon this time. I've never made turkey bacon myself, but I've had it other places and I've liked it. So we'll see how that is. Just a little bit of a healthier option. And I also put a little bit of avocado in that. I don't know if you can tell, but just give a little bit of different flavor and texture. 
I have my pumpkin spice candle lit back there. <laughs> I also made a cup of coffee, so yeah, excited to eat this. Okay, so I laid on my couch and watched TikToks for like an hour. <laughs> and now I'm coming up and getting ready, but I just put these Crest white strips on, which is why my S's sound weird. <laughs> I feel like today I'm having a glow up day where I'm getting my eyelashes tinted, doing my whitening strips. I've used these whitening strips before but not the sensitive version and they hurt my teeth pretty badly so I got these ones to see if they're any different so I'll let you know how they work out but yeah you have to leave them on for 30 minutes so I'm gonna sound weird for 30 minutes. All right, it's later on now. I took my whitening strips off. My teeth look ever so slightly whiter, but there's 18 strips in the pack and you have to do all 18 to see like the full effect. So we'll see what happens. My teeth don't hurt though. So that's a good thing because it will encourage me to keep doing it. But I decided I'm going to go on a walk. It's 12.55, my appointment's at two and it's like 10 minutes away. So I'm just gonna go on like a 40, 45 minute walk um, and then go to my appointment. I made this appointment at two o'clock cause I was like, I don't wanna be rushed out of the house in the morning. I don't wanna have to get ready so fast. But I wasn't thinking that for this type of appointment, I wouldn't have to like put all my makeup on and get ready because they're gonna be dying my eyelashes and my eyebrows. So yeah, I kind of wish that I made my appointment for earlier on in the day, but I'll note that for the future because yeah, I feel like I'm just kind of sitting around waiting for this appointment <laughs> and I can't like get ready and start my day. Anyway, I'm gonna go out for a walk. Um, it's really nice out right now. It's 58 degrees, really sunny, kind of breezy, a perfect autumn day. I have my hat on because last time I got a little bit sunburned when I went on my walk last weekend. Uh, I didn't put my sunscreen on, which was stupid. I don't know why I did that. And I didn't wear a hat and my scalp got a little bit burned. I'm super pale, can't be making these mistakes. So I'm prepared this time. I feel like today though, I'm feeling like a little bit sluggish, like just kind of tired. I'm hoping this little walk will give me a pep in my step. So let's see. <laughs> All right, I'm back from my walk. Now I'm just getting myself together to go to my appointment. I'm gonna wear the same sweatshirt I wore yesterday, my cat one, because this is the last weekend I can wear it. I'm gonna get my use out of it, so I may wear it all weekend long. <laughs> Who really knows? And then I totally forgot my brother Joseph is in town this weekend. He's here for like a birthday party for some teacher that he had in school. Anyway. <laughs> He lives in New York City, but he's here for this weekend. And so after my eyelash and brow appointment, I'm gonna go with him and my mom to Home Goods. And then we're gonna go to this bakery near us. And then where else did he say he wanted to go? He wanted to go to Lawrenceville, which is in Pittsburgh, a neighborhood in Pittsburgh. And I'm kind of excited to go there. I wonder if they're still open. They have this um, French bakery there where the chocolate croissants are so good but I don't know if they're gonna be open. Ooh, they will be open, they close at five. Hopefully they have the chocolate croissants so I can eat that with my coffee tomorrow morning. That sounds really good. And so yeah, that's the plan for today. It turned into a little active day. I totally forgot that he was here. <laughs> Granted, my mom just told me he was coming in this weekend like a couple of days ago. I think it was a last minute decision, but yeah, that's what's in store for us this Friday. I'm gonna fix up my hair just a little bit because I'm gonna bring my makeup with me and do it just like immediately after my appointment and go right to Home Goods to meet my mom and my brother there. But yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, I'm back now. I have eyebrows. Not gonna lie, I freaked out a little bit when I came out of there <laughs> because I feel like they're too dark. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it but my eyelashes are darker. Yeah, my eyelashes are darker. Um, I think if I did it next time, I would get the lash tint and lift on the eyebrows or on the eyelashes because I think that would make a bigger difference. They're ever so slightly darker. But yeah, the eyebrows, I just feel like are so aggressive and oh, 
I'm, I'm not used to them. So I don't know. I tried to like scrub it off. Like some, it was like worse than this when I got out. And I understand that it fades over time and blah, blah, blah. Like it's probably going to be back to normal in like two weeks. But I just feel like I look super weird. So I tried to scrub some of it off. I'm going to put my makeup on and see how I feel about it then. But I feel like right now this was a mistake and I am regretting it. But let's see what it looks like when I put my makeup on. I don't know. Okay, so I did my full face of makeup. And I look a little bit more normal, but I still don't like it. But it's supposed to fade pretty quickly, so I'm looking forward to that. I just feel like I just ruined my whole day and potentially month doing this. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? I feel like I can't go out today like with my brother and my mom i don't know like i feel like i look so bad <laughs> oh my god i feel like i look like a villain i don't know i just am not loving it i think i'm gonna go out anyway though and just deal with it and not look at myself in any mirrors or anything and hopefully everyone reacts to me like i'm normal because right now I feel like everyone's going to be like, who's that crazy lady? Whatever. Let's continue on with our day and try not to have a mental breakdown. So I am in the parking lot for the bakery. I have this hat on to cover up my brows a little bit. You can still kind of see them. But I'm trying to cover them. I didn't get to go to Home Goods with them because I was obsessing over my stupid brows. And I also didn't get to go to Lawrenceville. So that was struck. Now I'm just going to the bakery with them. And um, yeah, we'll see what they think of my brows. <laughs> I'm here at the bakery now. Oh, wow. <laughs> here we are. Joseph's getting some Kamala cookies. It's very political today. <laughs> Good morning. It's Sunday now. I didn't end up going to Lawrenceville with my mom and my brother, like I said, but they did get me the chocolate croissants that I wanted. So I'm eating a chocolate croissant with my coffee. I have the fireplace going over there. It's a little cozy morning. As I'm sitting here drinking my coffee, I figured I'd give you an update on the brow situation. So <laughs> I feel like I was being super dramatic about them, but I was kind of in a panic mode. They have kind of really toned down. Sorry, I have my glasses on right now, so I am totally blind without my glasses, so I can't actually see anything going on here. But um, yeah, they kind of toned down a lot since yesterday because I scrubbed them a whole lot with various different things. So I scrubbed them with clarifying shampoo. I used this dye remover that my mom gave me that is supposed to like remove dye off of your skin, like hair dye. Um, that I thought didn't do anything, but now that I'm looking at it now, I feel like it did tone it down a little bit. I used that last night and it stung super bad. So I only just did it like once over it. And then I wash my face, but um, yeah, they're a lot more toned down since yesterday. Plus, whenever I was washing my face, I took my face face wash and was scrubbing them. Which, like, if you get your eyebrows done, the girl told me don't put water on them for 24 hours. So you're not supposed to do any of that. And if you actually wanted your eyebrows to stay the way that they were, <laughs> then you shouldn't have done what I just did. But I feel like now they're a lot more toned down. I feel better about them today. Um, I did not feel good about them even when I got home yesterday because yesterday I went out to that bakery um, with my brother and my mom and then I went back to their house and we just had pizza and we're hanging out. Um, and everyone there was like, they look normal. Like it just looks like you have eyebrows now. and. <laughs> I don't know why you're so self-conscious about them, but I don't know. I felt like I looked totally crazy. And even my friends were like, you, you just look normal. You look like you have nice eyebrows. <laughs> like, I don't get it. But in my, I can't see it. Like, my brain cannot see them looking good. Today, I think they look good. Like, today, I think they look better. 
but as compared to what they looked like before, I still feel like I would prefer them to be clear. I don't know. I think my brain is just so used to seeing it that way that I can't like, this doesn't look, just doesn't look right to me. So <clears throat> that's the saga with the eyebrows. The eyelashes, I do like, I think, I can't remember if I said this. If I did it again, I think I would do the lash lift and tint. This is just the tint. So they didn't do the lift part. I think if I got the lift and the tint, they would look closer to like what it looks like when you put mascara on. This just kind of looks like they're slightly colored, which maybe I like that because it's more natural looking. I don't know. <clears throat> I'll have to see how it holds up and how I continue liking it, but that's an update. On the brow situation so today is Saturday and like I said I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee I already ate my croissants Ben is actually working today he works every once in a while doing like construction work on the weekends because he used to do construction work now he doesn't anymore but just to make some money he helps his friend with his construction business every once in a while on the weekend so i don't have any plans really right now i decided to do my nails ever since the pandemic i've been doing my nails at home using these revel nail dip powders this is the color freedom that i'm going to be using it's like a fall <laughs> burgundy color um but yeah you can just get like their set that they have online it's a three-step process nope that's my water eloise <laughs> and um yeah that's what i'm gonna do I'm dressed and ready to go. I still feel like I look so crazy. Um, I'm dressed and ready to go for my day. And I'm going to go to my parents' house right now until Ben gets home, um, which should probably be around 5.30. And right now it's 2.30. So I'm gonna go there for a little bit and then come back and we'll see where the night takes us. I don't really know what's gonna be happening tonight, but we shall see. Also my nails, they look kind of bad but that's the color I did <laughs> they have like a lot of stuff like on the sides of my nails but that'll come off in the coming days so yeah just naturally like with the shower and stuff like that it'll come off but yeah I feel like I've gotten worse at doing my nails I think maybe I need new um a new set of the polishes that you put on before you dip it because it seems like it's too clumpy or something I've had them for a couple of years now so <laughs> probably do to renew those but yep let's go to my parents good morning it is monday i thought i'd just film one more day for this vlog because i feel like i didn't film enough i was looking through like the footage that i had and i just feel like i didn't get enough things for this vlog so <laughs> who knows maybe i'll start editing it and being like actually no there's quite a lot here but just in case i want to have this extra day um it's monday morning it is a little bit before seven right now just eating a little bit of this quest protein bar hmm it's still because it was it was open Ugh. it's a cookies and cream one but i'm gonna go out for my run i'm gonna come back and do my full work day and that's really all i have planned my brows i still can't get over them I've been trying to put this like hydrogen peroxide alcohol solution on them. Just try to lighten them up. I don't think it's working very well. And then I also read on Google, if you put oil on them, it can help loosen up the dye. So I put oil on them last night. I don't think that did anything either. But yeah, I guess I'm just stuck with them like this till they go away, which I hope happens quickly. Anyway, gonna go out for my run and come back and do my work day. I'm back now. 
I forgot to say that today is daylight savings day. So now it's bright again when I go out in the morning. So that's really nice and it's easier for me to like wake up again. So <laughs> that's a good thing. I know it's gonna get dark earlier later on and that's gonna be depressing but this is at least a positive. <laughs> I got up to running to 22 minutes today. I was stuck on 20 minutes for a while, and some days I even found it hard to hit 20 minutes, but today I did 22, almost at 30. I think because it's a little bit harder for me like to maintain in the 20 minute range, I'm gonna go back to my couch to 5K and do like week seven and eight to lead up to the 30 minutes and see how that goes. But yeah, I don't know. Just some thoughts I'm having on that. I'm gonna get ready now, do my work day, and I'll see you at the end of my work day. Tonight for dinner, I'm gonna be making this soup that's called Mary Me Chicken Soup. It's really good. Um, so I'll make that on here for you guys and yeah, I think that's all we got going on tonight, but I'll see you at the end of my work day. All right, I feel like my camera keeps not focusing. Don't know what's up with that. It's the end of the work day now. I'm about to make a recipe called Mary Me Chicken Soup. Ben's doing dishes in the background, so just ignore that. He got home early today. I'm going to make Mary Me Chicken Soup. It's a very good recipe if you like a creamy, kind of Italian-like, soup <laughs> and so it's very delicious i'm gonna make that and i'm getting started on it now okay i have all the ingredients measured and laid out here we have chopped yellow onion chopped uh spinach chopped basil um i have to cube this cream cheese but a block of cream cheese some sun-dried tomatoes out of a jar with oil in it. Um, some oil from that sun-dried tomato jar. Garlic, tomato paste, Parmesan cheese, a bunch of different spices, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, salt, and crushed red pepper flakes. Chicken broth, and then you have medium shell pasta. And I think that's it. We should be good to start making it. Ben helped me cut up a lot of this stuff so it went faster than it normally does, but here we go. Okay, so first we heat up the oil in the Dutch oven until it's shimmering. Adding the onion and the garlic. tomato paste and sun-dried tomatoes and mix that up then you stir in the broth there's heavy cream too I didn't have that out um, and the seasonings Let's get the broth in here first before it starts to burn. Goodness knows, the kids' lines are burning. Oh, I just spilled it all over myself. <sighs> you do eight ounces of heavy cream in there as well. Try not to splash it on myself again. <laughs> the basil and the seasonings. Then it says to bring it to a boil over medium heat, stirring it occasionally. Then you add the pasta and you let that cook till it's al dente. Okay, the next step is to add the chicken. I forgot to show that. I just got like this cut up rotisserie chicken at the grocery store. So you add the chicken, the cream cheese, and the spinach, and the Parmesan. And then you cook it a little bit longer. But let's get this chicken in there. And the spinach. 
and the cream cheese. All right, and then, oh, also the parmesan. Stir that up. And you leave that in there for about five minutes. And here is the finished product. Hi guys, I'm just editing this vlog now, but I wanted to come on here to end it formally. So the soup I made was very tasty. I knew it was gonna be tasty because I made it before. It's one of my favorite soups. Also, I posted the recipe below, but I remembered that this time I made it, I cut the salt in half because the first time I made it, it was super salty and it tastes a lot better with the salt cut in half. So if you try it, cut the salt in half um we had it for leftovers the next day it lasted us for a while so that was a good meal my brows my brows they have <laughs> okay ben's in there taking a shower now so if you can hear that that's why but um yes my brows i do not like them can't wait for them to go back to being clear um yeah i just don't think i like how it looks on me personally yeah i'm just never going to get it done again if i did do any sort of color on my brows again i would probably just fill them in with makeup or i would try dyeing them myself at home because from what i've seen online if you use like beard dye it doesn't last long um, and so whenever you get them professionally dyed, it's intended to last a while, which would be good if like, you know, this is what you wanted for your eyebrows. But yeah, I think if I could do it myself, I could like control better how dark it is. Cause even if it didn't last long and it was just like a little bit darker, I think that would be better than this, which is going to last a while, but I don't like how dark it is. Anyway, I'm over the brow situation. I'm sick of talking about it that's my brows i feel like i didn't talk about halloween enough halloween in our neighborhood was super awesome we had so many kids walking around it felt like halloween when i was a kid like in the 90s and there's just so much activity everyone is into it people have music playing around the neighborhood it just felt like one giant like party in the neighborhood all of our candy that we put out i got so much candy for the kids to put out was taken and even if like you know we left it there just sitting out even if kids just came around like dumping it into their bags you know i'm happy that it went and i'm glad to see it glad they had a good time that was super fun um really enjoyed halloween in our neighborhood i plan on filming a weekly vlog this coming week so stay tuned for that but yeah that's basically all that i have thank you guys for watching again i feel like this vlog was pretty disjointed and a little bit all over the place so i'll try to make the next one a little bit more cohesive for you but yes thank you guys for watching if you're not subscribed already please subscribe i think i said earlier on in this video that mariah subscribing to me put me up to 52 but since then i have lost one subscriber so i'm back down to 51 um but that's okay that's okay we are going to get back up we're going to get to 100 we will I'm manifesting it. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.